Story 23X Nonna Maria Sounds we know U as in little W as in when U as in under A as in market E as in family U as in food a as in away. E as in need. Special words we know. Girl. Like. Mother. Does. Says. Scared. What. Home. Find. Pony. Money. They, there, have, when. New sounds. Id, as in landed. Special words. Life, new, Saturday. Some longer words. Harvested, interesting, grandmother. Instructed, constructed. Nonna Maria. My grandmother is from Italy. Her name is Maria. In Italy, you say Nonna for grandmother. So I call her Nonna Maria. Nonna Maria is 76. Her house is just across the park. When Nonna Maria was a little girl, she lived far away in Italy. Whenever I visit Nonna Maria, she tells me what life was like when she was a little girl in Italy. Her life back then was very different from my life now. I find it interesting trying to understand what it was like for her. When Maria was little, her family had an olive farm. At the start of winter, they harvested the olives. Every winter, they filled more than 50 boxes. On Saturdays, Maria's dad lifted the boxes of olives up into the cart and took them to the market to sell. Maria chatted happily to her dad as their pony plodded along the gravel tracks to the market. Nonna Maria tells me that when she went to the market, she visited all the different stalls. They sold chickens, farm tools, yummy food, fabrics, and other odd stuff. She says she can still remember the smells of that market from such a long time ago. To sell the olives, they set up their stall. Then Maria and her father called, Olives! Olives! Who wants olives? But it was in Italian, not English. At that time, when Maria was just six or seven, her family did not have much money. Maria was very little, but her mum and dad still needed her help. As well as being olive farmers, they had other jobs. Her father constructed walls and her mother mended garments. To help her father construct walls, little Maria lifted up the smaller rocks and handed them to him. Nonna Maria says she did not like that job as her hands got little cuts from the hard rocks, but she wanted to help her dad. Maria's mother mended pants, dresses and jackets. She instructed Maria so that by the time she was ten, she mended rips in pants all by herself. 
Nonna Maria still fixes stuff all the time. She does not like getting new dresses or jackets from the shops. She just keeps fixing up her old ones. Nonna can fix taps, clocks, blankets and ladders too. She can fix plants and animals when they get sick. She just loves fixing. She does not like spending money on new stuff. Life was hard for Maria and her family in Italy. They wanted to start a new life in a land far away. Maria's mum and dad kept their money in a box under the bed. After a long time, they had collected hundreds of dollars. With this money, they got tickets to travel on a ship. Nonna Maria and her family left Italy when she was 11. Nonna Maria says they felt scared as they got on the ship. They wanted to start a new life, but they felt scared to let go of their old life. Lots of Italians travelled on the ship together. They slept in bunks in small cabins. On that ship, Maria's family met another family with a girl called Anna. Anna was ten. Nonna Maria and Anna are still best friends. When they landed here, they did not have much. They had to find a home to live in and new jobs to do. Nonna Maria still remembers a very nice man called Alfred who looked after her family when they had just landed here. I love it when Nonna Maria tells me what life was like as a little girl in Italy in the old days. My dad said that he and I can go on a trip to Italy when I am 12. Then we will see what it is like now. The end. Words we've used. Life. When. Visited. New. Little. Plodded. She. Olives. Wanted. There. Stalls, mended, very, says, needed, Saturday, does, lifted, wanted, tools, handed. Some new words we can now read. Added, hunted, altered, acted, ended. Disgusted, gifted, handed, folded, tinted, melted, tested, nodded, padded, lifted, busted, rusted, funded.